Welcome to Briarfest News. There's been lots of news updates from Briar this week about virtual Briarfest. I'm going to go through and summarize what's been going on and give all my thoughts on everything. And at the end of this video, there will also be a model reveal, my thoughts on it, and then also news about the own virtual celebration I will be hosting during Briarfest week. So let's jump right into it. First piece of news for this week is that the three winners of the early bird raffle model, Dyflin, have been announced. So congrats to those three lucky winners. Next is an update about the Virtual Artisans Gallery. Briar said, we've had such an overwhelming response to this year's Virtual Artisans Gallery that we decided to open it up to additional participants. The Virtual Artisans Gallery connects artists from around the world to the universe of Briar fans without the hassle of packing and traveling with prize collections. The gallery will be open to the public Briarfest weekend on briarhorses.com. Everyone is welcome to shop. If you're an artist who's dreamed of being part of the gallery on site, this is your opportunity to be counted among the top equine artists in the industry. More information and the application can be found here. All applicants will be considered for acceptance. This virtual gallery will be open to all artists, including international artists who are interested in showcasing their work at Briarfest, but we wouldn't normally be able to make the trip to Lexington. Do you know an artist you think should be featured in the Virtual Artisans Gallery? Send us their information, briarfest at reasonernational.com. The gallery is more than a business name, listing, and a link. Included artists will have the opportunity to share images and include a biography to accompany their work along with links to their online shops. We can't wait to see you there. And if you're wondering what the price is now for the Virtual Artisans Gallery, I looked it up because I was curious. It's $50, which I think doesn't sound like too bad of a price for the chance to advertise your work on a website, which is going to have a lot of traffic during Briarfest. Some may disagree about the price since it's not an actual physical artisan's gallery, but advertising can be expensive, and the fact this is open to international artists as well I think is pretty awesome, especially since some people might not be able to usually showcase their work at Briarfest or now getting the chance to. Next is more information on what to expect to see at Virtual Briarfest. They said Briarfest partners from around the country are participating with unique behind-the-scenes looks at their private farms, training sessions, and interviews with owners and trainers. The breed demonstration groups we love seeing in the covered arena have been busy recording their always impressive performances at home, and we can't wait to share them with you. We are grateful for everyone's participation and dedication to this special event. The Celebration of Horses evening show will also be with us for the virtual Briarfest. Sylvia Zabrini's private Grand Liberté farm in Florida provides the perfect location for an evening of beauty and connection with horses. We've heard a little bit about all this kind of already in the previous updates, but it does sound super fun. It sounds like a lot of fun content they'll be putting out. They also said there's not just horse entertainers, but there's also Irish step dancers from the Billy Grass Selly Academy, music from the Freestylers of Piping, and our incredible Highland Games athletes. The Hands-On Hobby Center will be online too. This is such an important place at Briarfest. This is where we can really celebrate the talent in the model horse hobby. Guests can check out tutorials on tooling leather, tack making, faux finishes, making jumps, and so much more. These tutorials are a great introduction to the many facets of the hobby. From there, you can take part in more in-depth instruction with one of the more than 30 different workshops and seminars which will be posted for viewing for the weekend. These workshops are brought to you by experts from both the model horse world and the equestrian industry. Workshops are open to three-day ticket holders only, but the hobby tutorials and seminars will be available for public viewing. Be sure to tune in. Honestly, I think this is pretty incredible. More than 30 workshops and seminars. Oh my goodness. I was expecting there to be like five workshops and five seminars, but there's 30, which is crazy awesome. It sounds like if you are worried about there not being enough to do at Virtual Briarfest, then you don't have to worry. There's still going to be a lot to see and do, it sounds like. This next part is also a nice addition. If you have watched my Briarfest experience videos, you know how much I enjoy looking at the Briarfest diorama contest entries. I even have it as one of my top five must-do experiences video for Briarfest. Briar said, for the first time ever, we will be able to share galleries of all the incredible entries in the diorama contest and best custom contests. All entries will be put into online galleries for viewing and judging. 
we will get to see what our judges see. These entries always blow us away, so we're really happy to be able to share these with everyone. It's almost impossible to spend enough time with all of them on site. I'm really glad we'll still be able to view all the entries because I love seeing them and it sounds like this is also the first time we'll get to see the best customs contest entries. We usually only get to see the finalists, but maybe we'll actually get to see everyone's submissions this time around, which I think is pretty cool. I'm also really happy about this edition. I still haven't decided if I'm going to do the diorama contest myself, but right now I am leaning towards not doing it. Just because what I have in mind is something that I think you really have to see in person. Even capturing it on video wouldn't do it justice, I don't think. So I'm probably just going to save that idea away for another Briarfest where I can incorporate it into the theme somehow. But I am very excited to hear that we'll be able to view all of the Diorama Contest and Best Custom Contest entries online. The post goes on to the Virtual Artisans Gallery, which we already talked about, so we'll skip over that part. And go to the last piece of information on this post, which is about the model horse shows. There's a lot of info here that we already went over in previous updates. But they did extend the registration to June 15th due to the popular demand. And just how popular has it been, you ask? Well, according to Briar, there are already 300 entrants, which is nearly double what they usually have at Briarfest, they said. I'm actually surprised by this, as I saw several people saying they were refunding or rolling over their entries for the open show. But clearly, the open show is still very popular. As I mentioned in the previous Briarfest news video, I did enter the open show for Briarfest the first time this year. I've actually started working on my class list and taking photos of my models, and I'm actually really excited about it. Even though it does sound like it's also going to be very competitive, I think it will still be a lot of fun. Even more Briarfest news, this time about the Briarfest tickets and their benefits, including about the new celebration ticket. I highly recommend checking out the videos Jamie has done about the tickets and everything going on. Links to those videos will be in the description down below. Here's what they said in the blog post. A few weeks ago, we announced that adult three-day ticket holders will receive additional benefits for the increased cost of the ticket. We are happy to now confirm that adult 3-day ticket holders will receive $50 in bonus benefits, including $20 in free raffle tickets, a $10 coupon for Briarfest swag, a Briarfest Celtic Fling magnet, exclusive access shopping in the Warehouse Finds collection, more on that tomorrow, and access to special farm tours and interviews provided by Horse Country. I think the bonus benefits they are providing is really awesome and like they didn't have to do this. They could have not included anything extra in our tickets, but they did, which I think is so awesome. I mean, the $20 in free raffle tickets alone is just awesome, I think. But then you also get the coupon for Briarfest swag, which I will definitely be using, the magnet, which they mentioned before, and the tours, which they also mentioned before, but then also the chance to access warehouse finds. And that is a topic we'll be going over later on in this video, as Briar did release more information about that. Now there has been some international folks complaining about the fact that they can't enter the raffle or the contests and the model horse shows, which I understand that is a really big bummer. That is not something that is Briar's fault, however. I think they would absolutely allow international people to participate in all these events if they could, but they are having to deal with U.S. and state laws about gambling and prizes and such, which limit what they can do. But Briar is trying to make it up to their international guests. Since they can't give out the $20 worth of raffle tickets to international folks, they are instead giving international ticket holders a free swag pack with a specially designed travel mug for the international Briar fan, a Celtic Fling shopping tote, and a few other surprises. You will also get the $10 coupon for Briarfest swag and access to the Warehouse Finds collection and farm tours. We thank you for your support. Now in the last Briarfest news video I did, I did mention that I thought it was odd that they took off the tote bags from the swag shop, and maybe this might have been the reason why, because they hadn't announced this yet, and they didn't want international folks to buy a tote bag and then be upset hearing that they would have gotten one for free. Maybe, I don't know, I'm just speculating on that, but I wonder if that is the reason why that stuff was taken off. But I do think this is something really nice for Briar to offer in exchange for the fact that international guests can't buy the raffle tickets. 
Briar announced that they are offering a new celebration ticket, which is similar to the three-day ticket, except you won't have access to the special runs. But when Briar announced this new ticket, for some reason people were very, very upset by it. I still can't quite understand why people were so upset. Maybe because they just didn't realize how Briarfest typically operates, and they thought that these tickets meant that it was a free-for-all for some reason. But these celebration tickets are limited, like they do with all their Briarfest tickets. They explained how these tickets came about here. It says Briarfest tickets are always listed as well supplies last because we only produce a certain number of models for the event. We will not have an endless run on people buying tickets who can then go purchase the limited edition models. These models are reserved for ticket holders with access. We fully understand the goal of ticket holders is to experience as much of Briarfest as possible, and that includes those special models. To that point, Celebration 3-day tickets are very limited. This year, we cut off the full 3-day ticket sales early to be able to process special run orders as fairly as possible. This resulted in a small number of Balano Castle RM models being made available. We wanted to be sure those who missed out on their opportunity to buy a 3-day ticket still had the chance to bring Balano home, even if they don't get all the benefits of the full ticket package. So there you have it guys, don't worry about special runs or store specials suddenly being impossible to get or something. These celebration tickets are limited, and it's interesting to hear that Briar actually cut off the amount of normal 3-day tickets they usually sell to ensure that everyone gets their special runs. There is actually more news about the store specials to cover in this next post, so we're going to go ahead and talk about that in a sec. Briar came out with another Briarfest blog post that's going to talk about each of the models and explain how they are going to work for the virtual event. First off is the store specials. They are available to all ticket holders, but how many you can receive is limited. They did say to help out with the fact that everyone's going to be in different time zones that they will be releasing the models at various times throughout the weekend. As they would have on site, models will be made available each morning, but this year we are also releasing inventory throughout each day of the weekend to accommodate different time zones. So you don't have to worry about being on the Briar website exactly at 9 a.m. Eastern in order to get the store specials. We're going to jump further down this post to where they talk about how the store specials are limited per ticket. They said guests were limited to one per person as you go through the store. This will be the same case online. All ticket holders can purchase one of each of the store specials and fling shop models on each of their store visits. Store visits will be limited based on the number of tickets purchased, one visit per ticket per day. They then give two examples for a three-day ticket and single-day ticket holder. Basically, you can only get one of a certain store special every day. If you have one single-day ticket, you can only get one of each store special. If you have a three-day ticket, you can technically get up to three of each of the store specials because of the three days at Briarfest. And of course, you can get more if you have actually more three-day tickets on your account. I think it is great that they are limiting the number of store specials you can get. I don't think there will be too much of a problem of people not being able to get the store specials they want this year. I know at actual Briarfest, there were usually a lot of store specials in the Briarfest store when I went on Sunday afternoon. It wasn't like they sold out right away on Sunday. So I think the amount they make coupled with this fair limit will give a good chance for people to get the store specials they want. It is interesting that the actual store visits are limited as well. I don't know if it counts then as a store visit if you just check out the webpage to see what's there, whether or not you buy anything, or how exactly that's going to work. But I'm sure we will find out later. Let's move on to the warehouse finds or the InPod. Brief history for those that don't already know what this is about. It used to be that Briar would put everything, all their warehouse finds, their past models they didn't sell, samples or whatever they had, into the Briar store at Briarfest. People would get up early to wait in line to get these models. And then the Friday morning at the Briar store was coined the term Ninja Pit of Death or InPod for short. In recent years, Briars changed how they do things so that Friday morning of the Briar store isn't as insane because now they release these warehouse finds to the store throughout the weekend. Here is how their warehouse finds are going to work virtually. They said throughout the Briar store on site, you would have found some warehouse finds, aka InPod. These models we have collected throughout the year from our warehouse and archive room. They are generally samples or found inventory of models no longer in production. 
Some are sold in bubble wrap and others are in pristine packaging. For 2020, we are offering these items as grab bags with inventory to be released periodically throughout the weekend. Boxes will be curated to various price points, $50, $75, $100, 150 etc. Some may have one or two models, others may have four, but collectively they will meet the minimum market value for that box. A limited number of each price point will be available. Due to their limited nature, these will be limited to one per account, one purchase for the weekend for those who purchased an adult three-day ticket as an additional bonus benefit. I've already heard some complaints on this, but I think overall this is a fair method and in some ways rather exciting. I know not everyone likes grab bags, and I get why. Sometimes I don't like them either, but this adds a little extra surprise element to your Briarfest purchase if you choose to order one of these warehouse grab bags. It's also nice that they do have different price points for various budgets and that they will be limited to one per three-day ticket holder account. This will prevent some people being greedy and just buying up everything. I will agree that the bad part is, well, if you have like a friend's three-day ticket on your account, you won't be able to buy a grab bag for each of you. For situations like that, it's a little bit of a bummer, but I think overall, limiting it like this will give a higher chance for people to be able to purchase these grab bags. I know it's also kind of a bummer that non-three-day ticket holders can't access this, but I feel like that a lot of the people that do the crazy in-pod Briarfest morning thing are already three-day ticket holders anyway. I am honestly really excited about this. I'm definitely going to try and get one of these grab bags and see what I get. The nice thing is that I can't always trade or sell or give away something that I get that I don't want. Therefore, I am really looking forward to these. I do like surprises, and I'll of course be doing an unboxing videos of everything I buy from Briarfest, so it'll be fun to open one of these grab bags up on camera with you guys, if I am able to snag one. I'm just really excited about Briarfest in general. I'm still of course a little sad like everyone else that things won't be in person like usual, but this is really the next best thing I think, and I think it's fun that there's going to be some surprises and mysteries involved. Next type of models they talk about are the fling shop or pop-up shop models. They are available to all ticket holders. And an interesting thing they said in this is that they have three items to reveal for the shops. One of which we'll see in this video. Another one we can assume will be an individual stablemate. But that leaves a third item which we don't know what that could be exactly. It could be a set of stable mates, it could be an autograph model, it could be who knows what. It could be another classic, I don't know. I look forward to seeing what that other model could be. The last category is the special runs with no new information there. Briar does also recommend checking out these pages in their guide to Briarfest that goes over each type of Briarfest model. Now in the last piece of news from Briar this week, the reveal of the pop-up shop crystal model. His name is Kelpie. Kelpie-like images on stone carvings have been found in Scotland and date back to 6th century Picts. In Scottish folklore, Kelpies are shape-shifting water creatures that inhabit lochs and pools of water and are most commonly described as horses that can adopt human forms. While the origin of these creatures remains mysterious, some folklorists have suggested that these water spirits were manifested to keep children away from danger. Our Briarfest Kelpie has been done on a miniature 5-inch crystal version of Bouncer. Originally traditional mold number 707, sculpted by Kathleen Moody. Clear as water, we know our Kelpie will make a sparkling addition to your collection. Here is the photo of this crystal model. He does look very cute. I don't collect the crystals, but I do think they are really beautiful. If you're wondering how much this model will be, he will probably be around $45, as that's the usual price for the crystal models. Before we go, I do have some things to tell you guys. I have two highly demanded Briarfest videos, one of which is my Surprise for Speculation video that will be coming out in probably about two weeks or so, so keep an eye out for those. Yesterday I also announced my preliminary schedule for the virtual Celtic Celebration week I'm hosting. You can find all of this info on Facebook or Instagram, but I'll also briefly go over some of it now. It's a week-long celebration to celebrate Briarfest at home. Anyone can participate and there will be several opportunities to enter free giveaways. On the first day, July 6th, there will be two giveaways, one of which will be on social media and another which will be during a live stream where we can all get together and parade around in Star Stable, dressed in our Celtic best. 
On Tuesday, July 7th, a model horse-themed scavenger hunt begins. If you can solve the scavenger hunt correctly and send the correct answer in on time, you will be entered into another giveaway. Wednesday, July 8th is a Battle of the Models Live, which will be a fun bracket game where you guys are able to vote for your favorite Briarfest models to determine who is the reigning champion of this year's Briarfest. Thursday, July 9th will be Throwback Thursday. A playlist of past Briarfest experience videos will be posted that you can watch on your own time, or we can all watch them together during a live stream. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'll be doing live streams in the evening for us to talk about our experiences with Virtual Briarfest. On Sunday, we'll also do a Virtual Briarfest haul where we share what models we bought that weekend. I'll make sure these live streams are timed so that they won't interfere with anything else going on during Briarfest. I will be releasing more details on each of these events and revealing the giveaway prizes as we get closer to Briarfest. I'll add those updates to social media and my videos so you can be on the lookout for those. And you can find me on the following social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Amino, Snups, and Twitter under the name Stormy Strike. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Briarfest news released this week and what you think about the crystal model Kelpie. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.